Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Nadine and I'm with Little Library Land and Usborne Books at Home. I am here to let you guys take a peek inside some of the most amazing series that Usborne has and that need to be showcased. I know sometimes when we're here online, it's kind of hard to get a feel for the books, the content, the illustrations, um, and the overall feel for the book. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video that's gonna be about 30 minutes long, is show you inside. So first off, jumping into it, um, is our little board book series. So this, this series is great for the littlest ones in your lives that are starting to explore books on their own, but maybe can't be trusted with paper pages. Um, they're a great size, about the size of your hand, to pop into your diaper bag, bring along in the car, or just to have out on the coffee table for them to explore on their own. And you don't have to worry about um, the paper pages, them crinkling them um, and possibly ripping them because they have that thicker cardstock pages. Um, and it's the, these, this series is virtually our picture book series shrunk down into a board book um, format with an actual story in the book. So that one is in the castle. Up next, this series is the Are You There series. And it's one of my favorites and go-tos for uh, baby showers as well as first birthdays. So in this series, you are going to go through and there's these super cute little cutouts that you think that you are finding whatever it is. In this case, the owl, but there's a unicorn, a reindeer, a fox, a whole bunch of different ones. Um, and you think that you're seeing his eyes, but nope, it's stars in the sky until the very end of the book and you find um, the little guy that you're looking for. Up next is the famous That's Not My series. So maybe you weren't familiar with Usborne previously, but you've seen these books um, or maybe you were gifted them when your little one was small, but most people rec see these books and be like, oh, I do know what Usborne Books is. Um, so these are a touchy-feely book. Every page has a touchy-feely aspect, as, why, as long as this cute little white mouse to find on every page. And so you're um, going through the koalas, trying to find your koala. So until the very last page, then you're not going to find them, and then that one is your koala. So there's over 70 different animals, um, vehicles, you name it, there is a whole bunch of different um, different versions of this book, and everyone's slightly different with different textures and things that you're touching and feeling. Up next is our playbook series. So in our playbook series, there is a few uh, little, like sister family series in it. Um, there is the slide and see series in the playbooks. There's also sound ones in the playbook series, as well as some touchy feely and lift the flack ones as well. So we're gonna show you the slide and see series. So this series has super thick um, board pages, like really thick. And every page has a little slide that the little one can stick their little finger in and slide to change the picture. As well, I love this page, the little seal chasing the one fish and then all the fish as you slide it chase him. Um, so I feel like around nine months old, they can start to get, get the idea of putting their finger in that little spot and sliding it along to change the picture, making it super interactive. Then uh, from the same playbook series is one of the sound playbooks. So this one has a panel on the side that um, makes the sounds through the pages. There is also lift the flaps that you're hiding. This is the, I think the nature one, right? Yeah, this is the nature one. So there's some songs. There's, that was the little guy surfing out in the nature, but there's the frog sounds. There's fuzzy spots. They're just super bold, bright, and beautiful um, to really keep the little ones eyes peeled on the book. And you can prop them up as well for tummy time and put them in front of them as well. So those are great. Up next is a family series. Uh, it's a series of three different series in the family, which is peep inside, look inside, and see inside. So we kind of gauge peep inside two to four, look inside uh, four to eight, and see inside eight and up. But like I always like to say, is the age is just a recommendation. When it comes to nonfiction fact books, um, we don't know everything about every book. So there's almost all of these ones, they're gauged from four to eight years old that me and my husband have, or my husband and I have read, we've learned something for. So it's really hard to put that age number on it. The age is really for the amount of text on the page and the size of the font. So nonfiction is nonfiction, and facts are facts. 
So this is the peep inside again, geared for ages two to four. Of course, peeping inside, there's gonna be some flaps. So like the door of the barn, you see the goats inside. And you lift up the chicken coop and there's the hen laying some eggs. So lots of little, um, little and big flaps, just peeping inside whatever that topic is. There's a dinosaur one, this is the farm, um, under the sea, garden home, bug homes, a whole bunch of them in that series. Moving up to the next series is the look inside. And of course, I have to show that um, look inside your body because number one, body books are super popular. And number two, this is one of the company's best sellers. This book has over a hundred flaps. It is jam packed full of information. When I set up at local hospitals, it's a favorite between nurses, doctors, and everybody that works at the hospital. Um, and just so much to learn. So just to give you an idea, this little man here, he is in his clothes and then you lift this flap and you see his muscles. Then you lift this flap and you see his bones and then you lift his bones and you're going to see his organs. So really, really intricate details in these books, um, flaps inside of flaps. And again, so much information, not only on the outside of the flap, but on the inside of the flap as well. So if you're wanting to keep your kids a little bit more engaged longer in books, flat books are a great way to do that because kids just want to know what is under that flap that they're lifting um, and keeping their nose in the book a little bit longer. And then the, um, for the oldest kids, this is eight and flat, eight and up is C inside. And again, that age recommendation is just based because these this series, the font is quite a bit smaller and quite a bit more on the page. So for a little one, it might be a little bit overwhelming um, unless of course, every kid's different unless you're sitting there and really going through the page uh, or the book with them. So as you can see, this page specifically has a fold out as well as flaps here um, on the page as well. Of course, uh, super important nowadays, recycling um, and rubbish because it, it is a British company. So um, garbage is referred to as rubbish, but so much information of how to but how different things about recycling, um, burning and burying it, um, just tons of fun facts. There's also a sea inside your body. There is about 45-ish different ones in the sea inside family as well. Moving and staying on fact books is our next super popular and one of my house's favorite series. This is the beginner series. They are hardcover, library bound books. Um, full of nonfiction facts about a bunch of different topics. So now there's about 70 different ones in this series from sharks, earthquakes, outer space, living in space, um, bees, butterflies, lizards, reptiles, you name it. Um, there is a book. Um, there's even some like trucks, planes, those kinds of things as well. Um, and they are absolutely awesome. So we say that these ones are kind of aged between four and eight, four and nine. But again, in our house, we are collecting the series. We actually just got um, the Bears one delivered. And we haven't read one yet that my husband or I hasn't learned a fact from. So, like, did you know that every blueberry has 100 seeds in it? Definitely didn't know that beforehand when reading one of our books. So just to show you, there's some real um, photographs as well as great illustrations uh, telling you all about it. So this is the earthquakes and tsunamis and lots of fun facts in a really good format. Um, another reason why library, librarians and teachers love this series is it has a table of contents, an index, and a glossary in it as well to really show how those, um, how those can be used and work in a book. So that's super awesome. So like I said, there's 70 of them in here, and I have to point out the price points on these are $8.95 each, so super affordable and awesome. Me. Up next is some bedtime stories. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, getting new bedtime books is more about myself because I just don't want to read the same book over and over and over again, um, night after night. It kind of becomes repetitive. So I get new bedtime books and pull new ones out of my stock. I'm fortunate that way for the kids. So I have something new to read. So first up is our phonics readers. These phonics readers are super cute. The illustrations in them, again, are beautiful. Um, and of course, phonics, they are rhyming. So these are great for bedtime stories for your one, two, three, four-year-olds, as well as once your little one, six, seven, starts reading themselves, um, because memorization and rhyming are great first steps to learning to read. So that's a great option. And I love how this series has um, a little bit of information about phonics at the back of the book and um, helpful points for parents to get them started in reading. So there's that. 
Um, and then I like to show off our picture books. So just to give you a size example, our phonics books are a little bit smaller of a format. They are paperback, both our phonics books and our um, picture books. But, oh, I should mention, in the phonics series, there also is some listen and learn ones, which are board pages. And then there's an on-off switch and you push the button and it reads the page out loud for your little ones. So that's a great option too, especially in the car um, or quiet time that, or if you're busy with their sibling, a great option for them to sit down with a book without having to put a CD in and push the button and have the story read for them as well. Um, and then moving into our picture books, this is the dinosaur who lost his roar. It is one of my favorites of our picture books. The illustrations, again, this more never does us wrong with the illustrations in the books. And I love that our picture books, we also have lots of options that are um, old tales like Anne of Green Gables and stuff like that um, to really kind of relate back to when we were kids and the stories we read. Um, in our house, I try to stay away from books that go back to TV shows like Paw Patrol or anything like that. And that's only because most of the time they've watched it throughout the day that I want to change their thinking um, and bring something new in. So we try to keep with books that have um, a little bit different of stories that we're not watching on TV. Up next is another family of series. So this is our questions and answers family. Um, they are, it's made up of three different series. So there's the very first questions and answers, first questions and answers, and then questions and answers. Um, and again, aged two to four, four to seven, and seven and up um, is kind of the recommendations. And of course, again, if you're sitting down with your little one, no reason why you can't read the older ones or why an older kid can't read a younger one on their own. Um, these are, again, lift the flap. There is kind of the words on the outside. The very first ones isn't so much the question on the outside and the inside. It's just information um, under the flaps as well as um, the question. So this one's all about poop. Of course, the bestseller, the what is germs one has definitely been a great seller the last few months given our world situation. Um, and then moving into first questions and answers. So this one moves um, more to the question on the outside of the flap. Do people need the sun too? Yes, to keep us warm, light our world and grow our food. Sunlight also gives us vitamin D to keep us healthy. So again, the questions on the outside of the flap and the answer is on the inside. Lots of flaps and there is a whole bunch of different series or different um, topics in this series. This is why does the sun shine? We have why do we need bees? How do flowers grow? How are babies made? Um, so all different kinds with questions on the outside, answers on the inside. And then to the last one, the oldest level is the questions and answers series. And this one's about plastic. It's an, actually the, the newest one in the family. And you can see again, it's basically the how, where, what, when, who um, on each page. Question again on the outside, what did we do before plastic? People had fewer things, mended them when they broke and made much less rubbish. Toys were mostly made of wood or metal and food was either fresh or wrapped in paper or kept in a tin glass jar or a bottle. So again, lots of information under each flap moving through the book. Question on the outside, answer on the inside. Um, up next, we love this series and we have probably about 10 out of the 15, 16 of them that there is available. This is the 199 series. There's a few different other formats of this picture and then the word underneath um, the book or underneath the image um, to learn the words. But my little guys absolutely love this series, um, especially the dinosaur one. They'll pull it out and match it with the big plastic um, bin of dinosaurs and learn their names and see if they have, which ones they have. Um, and it's great for them. So again, this series has cardstock pages, which is awesome for the toddler years. Um, there's also some great ones that would work well on a nature walk. Um, there's a flower one, a bug one, um, things in nature, a garden one. Um, so they would be great to bring along and see what things you're spotting. Um, and again, just the image and then what it's called underneath. Up next is, oh, we love this series. Um, and I love that it's made for those younger preschool years um, because it again has the cardstock pages, but it's basically a very first encyclopedia. So this is the My First series. This one's the body one, but there's a science, dinosaur, animal, our world, um, a whole bunch of different ones. And yeah, just exactly that. It's basically a very, very first encyclopedia with not too much text on it in super simple form. Um, this one's all strong bones, muscle power, 
um, sensing the world. So just learning all about the busy brain. Look at all those different parts of your brain. Like what little one's not going to be fa fascinated with that? Your different feelings and um, senses, tastes. So that is that series. Up next, if you have a preschooler or a little one that's working on going to preschool or have one that just needs a little extra help, this series is super fun. Um, Lift the Flap series. There is some in the series that are a little bit for older kids, but there is lots that are basic, um, basic things like shapes, numbers, letters, colors, all those things. And it's book format. And then there's flaps that correspond with the topic. So for instance, this one, under, when you lift the flap, it says triangle underneath. And as you move through the book, lift the flaps to find a circle. So eat, like this boat is a flap, the back of the truck's a flap. Each um, one of these little trolleys behind the train's a flap. So you're looking for those things. Um, lift the flaps to find these things at the circus. So you lift the triangle. What's under the triangle or which one of these? So lots of ways to make this book um, interactive as you work on the topic of shapes. Up, oh, we got a, uh, what do you call that when everything crashes? A tower falling down. Um, up next, we're going to show you one of our look and find books. So this is look and find animals. Now these books I would say are great for about four and up. Um, really, some things are super easy to find and some things take me a few minutes. So the way they've integrated it is the question of what you're looking for is in right amongst the page. Um, where did I leave my eggs? So you're going to look through all those chickens and find the eggs. On this one, full of little mice, find three mice in sunglasses. So you're going to find them. So tons of pages, beautifully illustrated um, and really interactive that you can sit and find all the things that you need to find. I do want to point out that these look and, look and find books are hardcover, library bound like always, um, but some of our 100 piece jigsaw puzzles also come with a paperback smaller version of the corresponding book, um, look and find book as well. So that's always a great box um, gift, especially you get the jigsaw as well as look and find box, uh, book in the box as well in a paperback form. Um, now I'm going to go through some activity books. So we in our house love the activity books. They come with us camping. They come with us on vacation, beach vacations. When I mean my, my husband and I want to sit out on the deck and drink our coffee before we go down to the resort, the kids can sit on the porch and do some activities on the airplane when we are allowed to fly, um, to the trailer, cabin, um, over to grandma's house. We bring these books with us all the time. Um, and again, we use them at home quite often. I pretty much would say almost every day an Usborne activity book gets pulled out um, for use, even if it's for five, 10 minutes, up to half an hour. Um, every day, I would say that the kids just go to themselves to their bins and pull at least something out every day. So up first is the Usborne Little Children's Zoo Activity Book. So there's little children activity books as well as just regular activity books. Um, the little ones I would say are about four to seven, um, again, depending on the kid. Um, age is just a number. My little guy just turned five. He's doing the space one. And of course, I have to read the things to him, what he has to do on the page. Um, but some of the activities are, he can do them. A few of them might be a little tricky for him, but um, yeah, they're just so beautiful. I always say our activity books are almost too nice to draw in. Um, you're spotting things, there's mazes, spot the differences, coloring, some have stickers, um, some have puzzles to figure out, um, just so much great activities in them. So there's those. Up next, I want to show our magic painting books. So our magic painting books, we love these. So all you need is water to paint with these. I'm a mom that my kids love to paint, but I don't always have time to clean up the painting mess afterwards. So the pages are pure white and black. Um, and then once you dip your paintbrush in the water and stay in the lines, the more bold and bright and beautiful they, they come. But as little as 18 months, um, you could wash a paintbrush over the top of it and watch it come alive. And the colors will just kind of blend a little bit more. I've even sold this to seniors that, have, that were really artistic and maybe lost a bit of their mobility. So they get to pick up a paintbrush and make the pages come alive. And I do these with the kids all the time. It's like a challenge of how much I can stay in the lines and make them absolutely beautiful. 
Up next, we're going to jump into some sticker books. So we have a whole bunch of different options for stickers. I love our sticker books um, and some of them I would even do. So just to show you, there's little first stickers as well as first stickers. So the difference with the little is the format is just a little bit smaller. So little first dinosaurs here, you're gonna see the picture, the scene, and then you're gonna go to the corresponding page of stickers and build, the, build a picture on that scene. Um, same kind of idea with the first sticker books. I also have the narwhals one here too. You would get to the scene, find the corresponding page of stickers, which I will point out they're perforated, which is super awesome. Tear the page out so it can go sit beside um, you as you peel them off and build the picture. I have to show this one because it is one of my favorite in the series. This is the fruits and vegetable one. Um, and there's so many awesome ac um, activities that you're learning about the garden as you do this. Um, planting them, putting signs for the different kinds, fi figuring out which um, vegetable goes on which spot, um, making it super fun. And we also have some awesome numbers, colors, shapes, letters, ones as well, if you're working on preschool, stuff like that. Um, up next is our sticky sticker dolly dressing book. So again, there's little sticker dolly dressing and regular sticker dolly dressing. Again, that's just the format. Um, and basically a new age spin on paper dolls. So the girls are basically in their underwear or long johns, and then you're gonna go to the corresponding page, find their clothes, their accessories, their shoes, and you get to dress them all up on the page. And same goes with the large, large format one as well. They are basically in their long johns or their underwear. This one's got puppies and dogs in it as well, so you're gonna accessorize them and making it super fun. And each of these series, I would say, has anywhere from 30 to 60 different books in the series. Um, so, so many options. Usually they become addicted to them and they want to do the whole series. Um, up next is the Build Your Own Sticker Book series. So this one is the Space Warriors, but again, there's a whole bunch of different ones. And as you can see, there's dark shadows there. And then you would find the corresponding page of stickers and you would put them in like a puzzle um, on those dark shadows. And when you do, and if it's perfectly in line, they look like a perfect page, not like stickers on it at all. So that's great. Um, up next, we're gonna look at some wipe clean stuff. So wipe clean is a favorite in our house, especially the card packs. So we have some options that run from, I'd say about ages three to seven, like this one and monster doodles. Um, there's 50 cards in a pack, double-sided, so 100 activities, come with one dry, dry erase marker, but you can use any dry erase marker. And then at the, like there's a couple instant, uh, Examples of what they are matching, spot the differences, um, just drawing a face on an empty, or drawing the features on an empty face, filling a vase full of flowers, just a whole bunch, and wipe them clean, do them again. I always recommend that um, you hole punch them and grab a binder ring, and then you can put them all in a loop, and then you can put them in your diaper bag and bring them along as well and keep them all together because we all know whenever cards come in a box, they never stay in a box. Um, up next is some of the white clean books. So this is um, a basic activities one. I'd say this one's good for about two and a half to five. Um, of course, there's mazes, dot to dot, spot the differences. There's usually some tracing of numbers in them as well. Following the walls. Yeah, see at the bottom there's, there's some numbers you can trace for practice. Um, just a mixture of different activities in these. Then there's also learning wipe clean ones. So there's the preschool kind of aged ones, or even younger, uh, pen control, first doodles, mazes, those ones, as well as preschool learning, little, like letters, numbers, um, letters, numbers, but I mean, for like easy adding, that kind of stuff, and working all the way up to about age 11 um, with geometry, creative writing, fractions, um, multiplication, and all that kind of stuff as well as in the key skill white clean books, which is awesome. Um, I do want to point out also in the white clean card packs, there's some great white clean card packs that are ages seven and up, like memory puzzles, logic puzzles, um, math puzzles, brain puzzles, that you can wipe clean and do them again and again for those older kids. And let me tell you, some of those puzzles um, are tricky and make my brain work. Um, and then those brain puzzle kind of wipe clean cards also come in a book format, but I love that the wipe clean ones are reusable. Um, so this one just gives you some ideas of the puzzles, a whole bunch of different puzzles. So these ones I'd say seven, eight plus um, are great for those ages. 
Then working on some actual school kind of related stuff. This is from our pads, so practice book pads. Um, this one's ages six to seven times tables, but keep in mind, again, it's a UK-based um, company, so their curriculum's a little bit more advanced than us. So here, we don't start times tables till like eight, seven, eight, um, like end of grade three kind of thing. Um, so this is a little bit under that um, recommendation but they are beautiful pads to practice, but there's spelling ones, adding ones, subtraction ones um, on those. And that's kind of the idea as well as the white clean versions as well, but of course not this many pages in the white clean version. Um, up next, I love to show this write your own series. So if you have a creative writer that loves to write stories or is full of um, an imagination that's full of things that need to get put on paper. This series is awesome. I have a lot of teachers when I'm at teachers conference come and get these and use them for themselves for ideas for the kids to write um, stories in their class um, it, it, for their schoolwork. Pardon me. Um, but it just gives you how to build a plot, um, the ideas, how to make ca uh, characters, all the different things that goes along with writing a story. And there's a whole bunch of different options. This is the adventure stories. There's mystery stories, stories, there's sci-fi, there's magazine, a magazine one, a poem one, um, a comics book one. So tons of different options and great to get their um, creative writing skills worked on. Um, up next, and the last thing I'm going to show you in this video, video is this awesome 365 book. So this is the science activities one. There's also a paper and cardboard one and a things to make one. Um, and I love that it's coil bound, so it lays nice and flat. And we, my kid asks to do activities from this book almost every day. Um, there's so many awesome activities. Majority of the things here in this book, you have the items and the supplies at home. And it's super awesome. A great thing to have when um, you don't know what to do at home, maybe on a rainy day, or if you're just wanting to incorporate a little bit um, of a less science lesson or an art lesson um, to get your own brain thinking. So um, again, these books are super awesome. There's, of course, a couple smaller versions, like 50, 50 science activities and stuff. Um, but I really, really enjoy this 365 one. Um, so I think that's everything. Um, I thank you again for joining us, for taking a peek at this video and seeing inside some of these amazing books and how many um, awesome things that there is to choose from. We have books all the way from newborn to 12 years old. We have a full re leveled reading program um, that's absolutely amazing from starting to read up into um, uh, a, a good reader like grade six. Um, and yeah, we have over 2,500 titles that people don't usually realize that we have that many available, but it's super awesome and there's something for everybody. And yeah, let me know if you need any help at all, or if you're watching this um, from another consultant, um, reach out and ask them questions because our job is to help you guys find books that keep your kids um, engaged, uh, excited about reading, and also help you um, learn things or work on things like times tables or spelling or creative writing um, all together and make your job as a parent um, easier. So thank you again for watching and I look forward to hearing what you thought and what your favorite book that I showed was. Thanks again. Bye.